What's up, boys? It's mini scheme time. I've been uploading tons of gameplay, and you guys have been loving it, but let's go with some mini schemes. Add to your playbook. That's pretty much my goal with this video. Um, and listen, this is Seattle Seahawks playbook. It is the playbook that I run. It's the playbook I have an ebook out on right now. So if you guys want to check that out, madandturf.com, and that link is below. Get that ebook. It will help you a lot, man. If you want to watch me play live, twitch.tv slash dub. You guys should know that by now. But this is Seattle playbook. I really like Seattle. A lot of people ask me, will you go to West Coast when that comes out uh, because that bunch is better than the Seattle's? I honestly don't think it is. On top of that, I think Seattle has so many different things. And one of the best things Seattle has is two tight end sets. They're amazing. They're really effective. Uh, you can run the ball. People cannot run dime, dollar, anything like that on you. Uh, and that's pretty much one of the biggest reasons why I'm in love with uh, the Seattle playbook, the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Now, this mini scheme is going to be out of the doubles Y off formation. It's a new formation for me. I don't know if you guys have run it. Most of the time, I don't think the plays are that amazing in it, but there's one thing that it has, and that's a 0 1 trap. If you guys have been playing man in all this first week and a half, 0 1 trap is really good. You know, inside stuff will stop inside zone, will stop dive, but it will not stop. 0-1 trap. And 0-1 trap will eat against all these D-line abilities and everything. So mix that in your game. If you have it in your playbook, look for one. But I'll show you a mini scheme that I kind of kind of evolved around this 0-1 trap. And that's doubles Y off. Let's get to it. Uh, personnel, honestly, I like my fastest guys on the outside. Metcalf, Dorsett. I'm going to put Lockett on the outside. I'm going to want that route running uh, for this one post route that I like to run. But, like I said, 0-1 trap is the basis of this mini scheme. You know, I don't really want to show you that because I feel like you can just snap the ball and run it. It's really mix it in, get used to the blocking, get used to where to go with your running back, get used to reading the holes. I'm really not that good at it. Need to get better. So 0-1 trap. But there's two pass plays I like, you know, other than hot routes, other than and then anything like that. Um, for me, why sale? This is the most basic play pretty much in the game. If you can't make this read, passing might not be for you. We're going to go wide sale. We're going to go dollar. We're going to take out Ryan Kerrigan because he's just absolutely on, on, on cocaine when he's rushing the passer in practice mode. And we're going to run a little, uh, let's just run cover three cloud. You know, uh, and this is pretty much a play you can snap instantly. Um, I like the running back route. I like the tight end. I like that it has a stock fade on the outside. If it's cover two, you can pass lead to the sideline. Um, I like the deep in route. The one route that's my joker, I say, is is more because he's on a hitch right now, which could work. But sometimes I like him on a drag. Sometimes I like him on a whip. And sometimes I even motion him over, like if I want to create a wide trips look and then have him coming back across the field so I can hit him over here. A little bit more delayed and give that flat zone time to back up and get deeper in the coverage and hit that drag underneath um, but sometimes I just quick snap it I'll double team this guy so I can roll out we'll get out of the pocket here and you see we hit this corner route or Russell Wilson smokes the throw but you see how open that corner route is now this is cover three cloud normally you cannot throw these type of fades on cover three cloud but I'm gonna try it that's the point of practice mode Oh, cover three cloud is flipped. Never mind. Wow, I'm a bot. Russell cannot make this throw. Things are going all bad. But you see how open that tight end is. How open he is down the field for a big 30, 30 yard gain for the most part. If you guys have Jermichael Finley or you have Kittle, huge play to hit him with. When you're hitting him with the on one trap and all of a sudden they pop that on you, it is a really effective, effective tool for the most part. Here we go. That time I just put him on that whip. He's going to beat man. He's going to go underneath against zones. So, I, honestly, you could quick snap this play. Just drag, snap. It's always good to have some quick snap plays in the arsenal. As you see, now we have the in route coming around back. You have a lot of options. This is one of the few plays in, in the playbook that literally all five people are an option to go to. I have my running back open. I have my tight end open. And, of course, that that route coming back across the middle. So, that's a great, definitely a great zone beater. Uh, when it comes to man, I'll show you the other play that I love out of this set. Now, this is Seattle Playbook. Remember, you guys can get my whole ebook if you want every formation that I got, all the plays that I love running, man. That's maddenturf.com. Those links are below. PA Motion Slide. Now, normally these auto motion plays I, I instantly dismiss as they suck, right? 
No one wants to run auto motion. Most of the routes in them are terrible. But this one has a really, really good post route. We're going to run dollar two man under right here. This post route. Now, before I run this, I don't know how it's going to work. Practice mode is cracked. These corners are on steroids. They're going to just jump everything and cover everything. But I will tell you that this post route has beat man covers for me and Mutt better than any other route in the game. It is an automatic touchdown on those cover one robbers where they have no deep blue safety. Cover two, it's a touchdown. The downside to this play, I feel like you have to hot route every other person on the field. You know, so I, I might put my running back on a wheel, my tight end on, a, on an in route, uh, this guy on a slant, maybe this guy on an out route, or I, I maybe go max protect something like this. But we'll see how it works here as we get a lot of pressure. You see Lockett is bagged. I'll tell you what, practice mode man coverage, if you can beat that, you can beat anything. But like I said, I really like this route. Trust me when I tell you guys, it is it is very good. But that's what practice mode is for you guys. As we see in route here to Olsen. There, there goes Lockett beating Fabian Moreau. Fabian Moreau is a good corner and he's fast. That's... That's pretty much one of the best uh, things about him. But just find different setups for this play. Um, the crossing route, I will tell you, I don't know if it's good. You guys might like it better than me. Really? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't really use it. I use this post. Sometimes, and, and it's, it's hard to realize that sometimes you use a single play just for one route. You know, uh, and and the sooner you realize that, the, the, be the more you'll understand this. And you can use different hot routes different ways. But literally, I have this play just for this route right here. That that's cooking computer man coverage. I'm telling you, when you put that when you put that in practice mode, I'll tell you it will do a lot or not or in mutt, it will dominate. I'm telling you. So doubles wide off, man. This is out of the Seattle playbook. Add this to your arsenal, you'll become a better player overnight if you run this playbook. And if you don't, check it out, manturf.com. You can get the entire playbook. Uh, and, and like I said, I'm going to continue to update it. This is something I could have updated, but I said, you know what? Let me make a YouTube video and show you guys a couple plays that I got working. Now, the next update for the playbook for the ebook is going to be a lot more two tight end sets. Deuce, close, wing, things that you had two tight end sets because, listen, I don't want to deal with seven DBs on the field. I want to be able to audible around, run the ball with the Derrick Henrys, Jerome Bettis, uh, Barry Sanders, all these guys. I think it's an important thing to add to your game, man. So, one thing I realized last year with run being the meta and me not being a runner is, you know what? I got to improve my game. So let's find a way to get some of these two tight end sets popping. So that's what I'm working right now. So if you guys already have the ebook or VIP membership, you're going to have access to all of that, man. So if you don't, check it out, man. I hope you guys like these mini schemes. I can do one for every playbook, man. So let me know what playbook are you running right now that I might be able to find a mini scheme for you guys to open up your play calling. God damn.